Hello, my name's Matthew, and in this, the third video in our series about Nakama, we're going to make some first calls to the server running locally on this laptop. Nakama is an open source backend server for games developers. If you want to learn more, take a look at the previous two videos in this series by following the link on screen now. Okay, so we have Nakama running. Let's do something useful. The first thing we'll do is authenticate a user. Users, or players, have a role in pretty much everything you'll do with Nakama. Users can befriend one another, join groups and clans, send messages to other users, own information stored in Nakama, and more. They're also how you authenticate the client with the server. To create a user, we'd need to authenticate them with the Nakama server. Nakama gives us several ways to do that, including by device ID, email address, or social providers such as Google, Facebook, Steam, Game Center, or by using your own homespun auth. In the previous video, we created a user with an email address as the identifier. This time, we'll connect as that user. Now, the client code could be running pretty much anywhere. It could be on a mobile device, on a games console, in a PC game, or in the browser. In this case, we're going to use JavaScript, but we could be using Nakama's Unity, Unreal, Swift, Android, or other clients. Similarly, the Nakama server could be running in Heroic Labs Managed Cloud or on my own VM somewhere. In this case, though, Nakama is running in a Docker container on my laptop. OK, so let's start off by authenticating and then putting something in Nakama's storage engine. Nakama stores data as JSON objects, like this one. Here, you can see that we have two collections. One is called saves, and the other is called stats. Collections let you put together data in sensible groups. Let's run this code and store that data for our player. Checking in the Nakama developer console, we can see that the data is indeed stored for our player. The data that we'd store for a real game would be more complex, of course, and a typical game in production would be storing, updating, and reading thousands of such records across all clients every second. That's just how indie developers through to AAA studios use Nakama today. Social is an important part of many games, so now let's look at how to create friendships between our player and another player. Friendships give you the opportunity to allow players to see which of their friends is online or when they were last online. They can also chat together in real time and interact together during gameplay. Before we started recording, I added a second player to the Nakama instance on my laptop. You can see it here. Using this JavaScript, we can create a friendship between the player that we're logged in as and the new player. Let's run that. Thanks for spending the past few minutes exploring Nakama with me. You can learn more about Nakama and get started with development by visiting heroiclabs.com.